this is the, um, uh, let's see if I can show you the whole plant, nothing but the plant. So help me, gardeners. Um, what you're looking at is the uh, Tabasco pepper. I couldn't think of the name. I don't have a tag on this. I got to look for the tag. And uh, this is this was a, a donor from a, another uh, Tabasco plant that I bought from Lowe's. And I cut off a branch, and I rooted that branch, and that branch pretty much just sat there for last year, probably since around this time. And it just kind of sat there and never grew, brought it indoors, started to grow a little, got some stems and branches, and it didn't do nothing. And then I finally got it out into the garden. As you can see, it's a very bushy plant. I mean, look at the size of this plant. It's really growing nicely. I'm very, very pleased with it. And, um... Yes, you can uh, clone pepper plants. It's got, they take a long time. You've got to have a lot of patience. Okay, so let's start with the stem. The stem is of a smooth, waxy type stem. I do not see any purpling in the stem or the nodes. The leaves are of a small leaf, um, a narrow leaf type. They're just small leaves. They're generally not going to get really big. At maybe... As far as I remember, not with this particular um, plant. Maybe with the original mother plant, maybe the leaves will get, have gotten a lot bigger. But this plant, all the leaves seem to be very small. It's kind of pressed up against the door right here, but that's because the door's closed. <laughs> and I, I'm not opening it yet. You, as you can see, there's, it's prolifically, this plant will literally produce hundreds upon hundreds, if not thousands of peppers by the end of August. I'll show you this thing at the, towards the end of the year. There'll be pe literally be peppers all over. Um, let me show you flowers. Flowers are quite interesting on this one. Let's see. Where is the flower? I can't see it in the camera. There it is right there. You can see there's a, literally a pattern on the back side of that flower. It's a slightly green pattern. Here's another one. I'll show you that they're consistent. That pattern will be consistent throughout the flower. Okay, you can see there's little peppers all over the place. Again, this is the Tabasco pepper, so they don't make very big peppers. Here's another one. Okay. Right there. I had a bigger one back here somewhere. I don't want to break the plant. Looking for it. Here's one back there. Look at that one. They get around that size a little bigger, maybe double that size. And uh, what else to say about this? You gotta kill spider mite, guys. Uh, what else to say about it? What else to say? Uh, board leaves with the stems. This particular plant's very bushy, and it's roughly around mm, 30 inches, I'd say. But it's very bushed out, so it's not one stem upwards. Uh, it's growing in one pot with four of the sharing four of the plants. It's sharing a pot with four of the plants. Uh, churn it with a Brut Jalokia, um, a Trinidad Scorpion, and I believe it's another, you see this branch is even coming out here from this thing's really branched out. The uh, Brut Jalokia is kind of struggling to get through, but that's okay. I got Brut Jalokias all over. So, uh, what else, anything else about the... Uh, Tabasco. Um, what I will say is it's a hot, very, very hot pepper. They say 50,000 on the, on the Scoville scales. I, I can't even cut these peppers up to make hot Tabasco sauce. I, my eyes will literally start uh, itching and burning and I start coughing in my throat because it, it's like once you start cutting those things up, they release some kind of a, a fume or something. Um, it, I can't do it without a face respirator on. It's it's the only pepper that really does that to me. Not even the, the Reapers do that to me. But these Tabasco peppers really, they really do a number on me. Um, I start coughing as soon as I cut them. I, I literally start choking. <laughs> it's like something aer aerosolizes when you cut them open. So we'll, we'll do more on that.